Hey guys, this is Torno. Today we're going to be talking about skill military, but we're going to be talking about them on war defense. Now, I know a lot of people are probably going to be using these guys on offense because honestly, they're a pretty decent team. They're able to take out Marauders, able to take out uh, Taskmaster, Merc as well. Like basically anything from the old meta, they go decently up against. But I think that they are a decent option for you to be able to put on war defense. And I've been running them on war defense for a bit and they've got some decent wins like this one here. I assume here that what happened was punishment Punisher went in and nuked one of these guys, took out like Shatterstar or Longshot early on, and then just was able to allow the whole team to rip through them. Or, I mean, for all I know, they kind of, they quit out of it, but it looked like they were going into it for quite a while. There's also this one here against X-Men. X-Men have a lot of issues versing them, um, and they're able to take them out pretty decently well. You've also got like Symbiotes. <laughs> It's, it, they keep using villains. Half the roster is basically villains. And if you use villains up against this team, you're just going to rip through them because Punisher just deals so much damage to villains. It's just crazy. And then this one's just from today. You know how many people have used uh, Brotherhood on them? Brotherhood seems to be people's go-to try to counter to use against Skilletary. And it just never works out because first of all they're just all villains which means one ultimate from punisher just rips through them all and all they honestly just have the tools to be able to kind of counter through them as well and then here again another x-men here um, a slight punch up but only took out merc soldier weaken the rest of them down to the point that they can still kind of get wrecked next turn or potentially live but this still is the fact that like it still took out a big team. It's pretty decent. Now I'm going to go through each of the kits and show you like why they kind of work on defense because obviously most people look at this team and they're like, I'm going to use them on a war offense, but they don't have anything that kind of holds them onto offense besides one skill, which potentially you might use, but it's not even like a, it's like not even a full skill. It's like a niche. Um, so with Punisher here, this here is just in war. So no matter what, he's going to be doing this triple tap because you've got this war bonus here. Then he's going to use his ultimate, um, the damage from that. And then on top of that, if you run him as striker, as long as there's a skirmisher debuff on one of the enemies, he's then going to attack them again. And if you do that and it's like up against a Magneto or up against like even like a blob or something like that, it's just going to destroy them because of the sheer amount of extra damage he gets against villains and extra extra 30% here against villains. Um, oh no, sorry. He gets an extra 50% against villains. I'm not sure if these stack here, like he gets this one and this one, but he definitely gets heaps of damage against villains to the point that he just kind of rips through them. He's also got the special here, which steals that. And again, this is not bound. This isn't even bound to war anymore. It's just bound to having skill military allies for him to put them onto, but that's not like, a, it's not an issue. Now, if you're doing like tier fours, this one here is definitely a tier four that you want to get. And you want Punisher to be a big character on this team. Next up is Black Widow. Black Widow is there to provide a cleanse for them to be able to remove their negative effects. This allows you to counter like the early blinds um, from Magneto if, if you kind of lose your buffs and stuff like that. We'll talk about that when we get to Yelena. But uh, any other debuffs that are on there, she's able to get rid of them with that. She also comes in here with the assist to be able to get the... Uh, whenever she gets the stealth... Um, she gives the offense up to them all and applies death proof to Hawkeye and Red Guardian to allow them to live longer. She also assists them on their turns. So I like to run her as a skirmisher um, just to be able to kind of do the triple tap where they attack then... Um, then she gains, goes in and assists, and then they attack again. Um, I don't actually think I... I'm not sure if I run that on, on any of them, but she still is able to kind of chuck out that skirmisher debuff on her turns, at least, to be able to have, like, uh, someone else kind of take advantage of it in the future. Next up is Red Guardian. The only tier four I've got on him, he's his passive here. Uh, he's just going to be the one that provides their massive amount of health and also extra focus. Extra focus is great because it allows you to kind of land your debuffs with um, Black Widow, with Yelena, um, but it mostly is just the extra health kind of helps counter the fact that some of these characters are rather squishy, except, especially Punisher. Punisher needs that extra max health. So this tier four here is 100% a great one to have. The other thing here is that this applies a speed up to all of them on spawn. Just for Punisher, Punisher's normal speed is 98, but if he has that turn one speed up, which he gets on spawn, it's then 147. 
147 speed is is insane. It's really, really great for a turn one. Uh, so it allows him to just completely wipe the floor with people. And then you've got, obviously, um, Black Widow there, who's just going to have crazy amount of speed. Like, if you look at the speed of Black Widow um, with the buff there, um, just like her speed normally without the speed up is 155. So if you add points, uh, add times that, uh, times that by 1.5, it's going to be something like what? A hundred, uh, uh, I don't know. It, it's insane. Oh, sorry. Her base speed is 135 on turn one. So then times that by 1.5, um, it's a, a lot, almost 200 speed. She's just going to have an insane amount of speed um, thanks to the speed up on spawn. He also gains the taunt on spawn to allow them to keep going, but the best part about him is his healing. He does a lot of healing on a low debuff, uh, low cooldown there. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to Sam so I can put Sam on this team um, to allow them to kind of generate more energy and everything. Um, he also does the, he is stealing the positive effects uh, as well, clearing the negative effects. This is only for himself Self, unfortunately, if that cleared native effects on everyone, that'd be insane. But he does do all that healing as well. Red Guardian is just kind of the massive tank there, um, and the kind of like stat stick, I guess. Now, you, I don't run Killmonger personally. Um, Killmonger obviously would be an option if you didn't want to run him on. Um, on the on the mercenary team but i honestly think that his best spot is just on that merc team it's not he's not super useful on this team like punisher can do what he does um and then most of the other ones like you definitely want Wi widow you definitely want yelena there like there's no real spot here that you can drop out for killmonger uh, but i'm going to skip over to um merc soldier here merc soldier like an extra massive amount of max health again extra damage he's mostly there for his passive you don't want to drop him and again this is just in war and this is oh, not this this here is just with military allies it's not in war defense or war offense or anything like that their buffs are just all just in war and stuff now this one here is a tier four that i definitely want to do that's like my next tier four that i'm thinking of doing uh because it steals the extra positive effect and in war again but it's not like a super reliant one like there's no need to kind of have it there it's a great one to have but it's not a necessary one uh, and then finally yelena now um I've got him currently as striker again to kind of proc off of um, the Yelena and the Black Widow um, debuffs that they put out. But I've got Yelena as Raider just because of her passive getting the extra crit and everything. Now, whenever she gets offense up, she gains stealth. But unfortunately, that doesn't work when you get the offense up from Black Widow's passive. Now, anytime they have speed up, they have 100% accuracy. So this is why this is why they work against the... Um, the brotherhood team is because no matter what they always have this always have this accuracy um because they just get the speed up on spawn they get speed up from black widow constantly so the blind there from black uh from magneto just doesn't matter now this is the only part in their kit that's kind of bound to actual war offense and that's purely to kind of make it so that they don't have that constant taunting um that uh, Taskmaster chucks out. So realistically, while it's a great thing to have, it's not a necessary thing. You're also going to be lowering the crit chance. That's another reason why they work really well against, uh, where is it? against this team is because these guys are relying on crits. You need crits to get rolling. First of all, the they're not an insanely fast team. Like the X Factor team is not insanely fast. Um, while this team here, the Skilletary team, is going to start with speed up and already they're decently fast characters. While this, uh, the X Factor team really needs the crits to get rolling. But as soon as you get that uh, Yelena passive here, you're going to stop their crits, slow down their crits and stuff, which means that they're not going to be able to do as much stuff. The uh, chance here for non-attack abilities while that's not super important um against like a lot of the matchups that we're talking about here um uh, like it's not going to be like important against really many matchups at all um there are some that like no i can't really think of one off the top of my head like a war offense team that this would really help against um 
Mm, no, there's not really much point to this. Uh, not on war defense, at least. Potentially, the future, uh, there's a chance that they might become important uh, once they add in like some more war offense teams and stuff. But at the moment, it's not a super important thing. Uh, her ultimate here is the part that gets the extra crit chance. This is another tier 4 that I do want to do eventually. But her specials are tier 4 that I do find important because it gives her extra stealth here. And when she's extra stealth, then she has the extra crit damage there. But she also applies that disrupt and steals away positive effects. The tier 4 here for, uh, lets her get the extra stealth and the extra disrupt there, which is pretty decently important. Um to kind of early disrupt an enemy to make sure that they're not going to be able to chuck anything out there. So that's basically it. Like, I just wanted to go through the kits because I think that a lot of people are discounting this team still and looking at them and they're like, I'm going to use them once a, once every war against um, mercs and that's it. But if you've got plenty of merc counters, if you've got plenty of marauders counters, then potentially consider putting them on defense because they do go decently well. They do require something decent to be able to take them out. And you will trick opponents into using brotherhood apparently because nearly every single war last war, I came up against someone um, and they used Brotherhood against them, which was fine, and they lost and combat cancelled out of it. Then they used Brotherhood against them again and combat cancelled out of it. And then they come up against it again with Brotherhood, I believe, and then they ended up just getting wiped out of the floor and didn't combat cancel. It's just something that, like... People seem to overlook the fact that Punisher just does insane amount of damage. And between the extra health from Red Guardian, the extra health from Soldier, they really do kind of have that extra, um, that extra survivability, which is something that both Punisher, Black Widow, even Yelena to a chance has not that all that much of. So, um, just kind of using these guys, drop Killmonger. Killmonger is not an important character on this team. Um, not at the moment, like maybe in the future, who knows, but these guys here, they just rock. Um, I, I just wanted to kind of talk about this because it's a team that I've been enjoying using. Um, but I'd love to hear from you guys. If there's any kind of unusual war defense teams you're running, like stuff that really, um, really kind of stands out, um, uh, something that you wouldn't really expect to kind of be on war defense because Skilletary, I've seen them before, like some, from, from uh, some other people, but this specific, um, like team up here, I haven't really seen. And, um, it seems like a lot of people, other people haven't seen it really because the fact that they keep using brotherhood on it is, is pretty funny. Um, but that's it for today, guys. I'd love to hear from you guys, uh, what you guys think. Have a great day and goodbye.